Hello guys, welcome to binaryicos.com. In this uh, Wireshark training of part 11, I am going to look about the ARP packet, some basic fundamental thing of understanding the ARP packet and how to create a filter for ARP packet in Wireshark. Now open the previous capture file, capture1.pcapng. Let me go to the binaryicos.com. Now in this packet list pane there are lots of protocols and I am going to discuss about the ARP protocol for this video demonstration. So click on the first ARP protocol that is a broadcast message of the protocol. Now in the Ethernet to frame you can see the destination and source MAC address. The source MAC address is my PC MAC address and destination MAC address is all F that is a broadcast let's see that IP config slash all and this is my network IP address IP version 4 and this is my MAC address of my machine and this MAC address and this MAC address source both are identical and same and the destination broadcast address is the all F so it asking for that address the first ARP packet the type field is a ARP if uh, after that if there is a IP field then this uh, range or this number should be 0800 for this there is only ARP therefore the number is 0806 now let's open this address resolution protocol okay the first one is a hardware type so hardware type is the ethernet protocol type is IP address and you can see that the IP address is 0800 as I say earlier the hardware size and protocol size is same as hardware type and the protocol type we know that the hardware size is 6 that is our MAC address is a 6 byte this is the Ethernet address so the hardware size is a 6 the protocol size is 4 that is our IP address is version 4 this is a version 4 IP address and it is a 4 byte so the protocol size is 4 now this is a opcode and this is our request packet of the ARP the opcode request 1 is indicate that it's a request packet if the opcode is 2 it indicate that it's a ARP reply packet if there are a 3 it's indicate that it is a RARP request packet it is a reverse address resolution protocol and if it is 4 then it is RARP reply packet it is a reverse address resolution protocol reply the sender MAC address is my machine MAC address as I will say sender IP address is my Windows 7 machine IP address it is 10.0.2.15 there it is and the targeted IP address is 10.0.2.2 so this is a targeted machine and it requested to that targeted IP address to send a MAC address so this is a broadcast address of ARP and it is a request packet now let's look for the reply packet this is a second packet you see that type is same as 0806 this is the ARP packet in this field hardware type IP at uh, Ethernet protocol type is IP hardware size and protocol size are same and this opcode is indicate that it's a number 2 so I earlier mentioned uh, the number 2 is a ARP reply packet so this is a reply packet from 10.0.2.2 to 10.0.2.15 so in the earlier packet this is the first packet request packet the sender IP address is my machine and in the second reply packet the sender IP address is 
the targeted machine and targeted IP address is my own machine. So the targeted machine that is uh, 10.0.2.2 if it, uh, it reply with the MAC address this is 52.5400.12.35.02 so this is the MAC address of the targeted machine in the broadcast packet and in the reply packet it's a sender machine let's see that in our MAC address table so type ARP-A and this is 10.0.2.2 okay this is a sender IP address 10.0.2.2 and this is MAC address of that IP address and this MAC address and this MAC address both are identical and the targeted MAC address and targeted IP address is my Windows 7 machine IP address now I'm going to show you how to make a filter for our ARP packet so in the filter area you can also type ARP and press enter on apply so it will show all your ARP packet in this packet list pane if you want only a particular request or reply packet suppose uh, if I if you want this is a request packet so if you want only a request packet to display on this area so right click select the request packet right click select apply filter as and selected so it will only display the request packet if you want a reply packet just delete this one and two make a two so two is for the reply ERP reply Click on the apply so it will show you the reply packet of the ERP in the second thing I'm going to show you how to make a filter for uh, the ARP packet so select the connection this is a local area connection the interface list uh, I'm going to select the local area connection the option and here it is capture filter and by default there are a Wireshark a no ARP packet this is a default packet so if I select this packet uh, Wireshark will drop all the ARP packet so I'm going to create a brand new packet of the ARP so select this no ARP packet click on the new so it will create a new packet for no ARP and just delete this first two word that is no and select only ARP so this is all you have to do the ARP packet and click OK and start now it's only capture the ARP packet First, let clear this and you can see that there is only an ARP packet that Wireshark are captured there is no other packet in this packet list pane stop this packet you can see that the all packets are the 234 and all packets are the ARP packet no other packet listed in the packet list pane so this is all for this video the basic fundamental understanding of the ARP packet if you like my videos, please subscribe my YouTube channel and also like my Facebook page. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.